Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. Delivery fleets, electric utility fleets, or industrial trucks have a hard time maintaining their diesel particulate filter or DPF systems. So do private owners who do a lot of low speed, short distance driving. Before you start an operator commanded regeneration of a DPF system, Make sure to take the vehicle outside in an area free of any materials that can easily combust or melt. This includes paper, leaves, petroleum products, fuels, plastics, and other dry organic materials such as grass. Place the vehicle in park on stable level ground and set the parking brake. Navigate to the exhaust filter status screen on your information center on the IP. Make sure there's at least an eighth of a tank of fuel. Make sure all fluids are at proper levels. Check the louvers at the tip of the exhaust to make sure they're clear of obstructions. These holes introduce fresh air into the tailpipe to cool the exhaust gas as it leaves. Warm up the engine. Check your engine temperature gauge to be certain. You can command an OCR before the engine is warm but you'll have to wait for the process to start. It takes some time at the elevated engine speed to warm the engine up. To perform an OCR, the operator needs to read the information center. Press the info button on the steering wheel until the message center gives you one of these prompts. This message requests permission to initiate filter cleaning when the DPF isn't oversaturated and the vehicle is warmed up. If the vehicle is warmed up and in a safe location, answer yes to this message and then follow the prompts regarding exhaust position as needed. Be sure you understand each prompt. If you're not sure, contact your Ford dealer. Once operator commanded regeneration starts, the engine's RPMs will rise to approximately 2,000 to 2,400 and the cooling fan speed will increase. You'll hear a change in sound due to the increase in engine and fan speed. You don't have to open the hood during cleaning. You can expect the operator commanded regeneration to last from about 10 to 30 minutes. Operator commanded regeneration will run automatically until completion. Upon completion, a message will appear indicating the exhaust filter is clean. If you need to interrupt or cancel the regeneration procedure, press the brake or the accelerator or shut off the vehicle. If an OCR is interrupted, the cooling fan will stay engaged until the engine speed is raised high enough to allow it to disengage. This will result in fan noise the first time the vehicle is driven away after the interrupted OCR. If you see this prompt, it means that the system is at the point of oversaturation and gone into D-rate. You will not be able to allow cleaning. An authorized Ford dealer must service the vehicle to return it to normal operation. Motorcraft replacement oxygen sensors are designed for maximum performance. They use the same components as the original factory installed equipment, and the units come ready to plug and play. No modifications are needed. They also feature OE connectors and wire lengths for proper fit and tight tolerance ranges to help minimize repeat repairs and false check engine warnings. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Be sure to check out our series of videos for installation and repair tips for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.